Is a dragonfly cobalt worth $100 more than the red? Is there a difference in sound between them? Who is this product for exactly? All of these answers and more coming up. Greetings, boss head, and welcome aboard. Stuart Charles here, home studio by 6.com, helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, for the burning question, is a dragonfly cobalt worth $100 more than the red? No, it's not. Save your money. Is there a difference in sound between them? Yes, but it's very minuscule and likely won't be discernible in a blind test. <laughs> I'm blind! Who is this product for exactly? It's for audiophile snobs who enjoy the smell of their own farts. Oh! Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it smells so good! <laughs> Boom! Well, that's it, bye. Just kidding, chap. Sit the f back and chill. Let's dissect this a little bit more in depth. <laughs> See what I did there? Because of like sample rate and bit depth and never mind. Is there an actual sound difference? I demoed these back and forth extensively for many hours using the highest quality files necessary. This means anything 24 bit 44K, 24 bit 48K, 24 bit 96K, master files, Spotify premium, Tidal Hi Fi, 384, 768, 1 million and 2, etc. Let me repeat that again for all of you chumps who don't actually watch the videos but make comments that are completely contradictory to what was said or shown. <coughs> the last Dragonfly shoot. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. There was a small difference on a couple of tracks, but for the most part, no. Buying a Dragonfly Cobalt over a red is literally like taking a hundred dollar bill, lighting it on fire, peeing on it, and then flushing the remains down the toilet. Again, I'm trying to save you money. Even given this tiny difference that was probably just a placebo because in my head I was trying to justify the more expensive product sounding better, can you honestly tell me it's worth it to spend an extra hundred dollars on maybe, maybe a 2% increase in sound quality? I'll wait. This is exactly the problem with the audiophile hobby. It's full of people who claim they can hear the grass growing. The average person isn't going to know or give a crap. And you're not going to be able to discern the difference in a blind test. Do you know what actually changed? The colors and the form factor. Well, whoop de freaking do! Thanks, Audio Quest. You really made my life so much better. Now I can hear all my favorite tracks in all their glory with added synergy and scaling to boot. Oh boy! You know, before I was just an audio file, but now I'm an audio file! I really got my wings! I'm probably only hearing a slight volume imbalance, and there are thousands and thousands of DACs on the market that all do the exact same sh. But darn if it doesn't make me feel good to spend extra money on crap that I don't need. So what are you waiting for then? Buy one today! Buy two! You know, since you took the blue pill and not the red one this time around, the next dragonfly we come out with will probably be green. You know, indicating how easy it is for us to scam you out of your hard earned money, you pathetic schnook. This time it will be shaped like a rocket ship to distract you even more. You won't care that it sounds the exact same this time around, as long as it looks cool and you can put it anywhere. And by anywhere, we mean anywhere. Are you ready for the next video in the Before You Buy series? Click to my right right now.